declare that everything that we declared concerning nations shall be yes and amen in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. One more time, let's lift up our hands and our hearts to God and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let's declare his faithfulness over nations of the world. Let's celebrate him. Let's say thank you to him. He is God. He has not changed. He abides forever. He rules and reigns over nations and kingdoms. The God that is above power is above kingdom, above all the nations of the earth. Let's worship him. We worship you. We adore your name. We magnify your holy name. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you remain the governor of all nations. Thank you because you rule and reign in the affairs of all nations and all men that you have created. You are the Lord upon all the planets of the earth. You are the one that is in charge and is in control. Everything belongs to you. The heart you created belongs to you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore your name. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. We say, be thou exalted, be thou magnified, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to lift up our hearts unto God and ask for forgiveness of sin. In any way, we have run short of the glory of God. Whatever we not allow God to hack into the voice of our prayers this moment, this hour, this night, we plead the blood of Jesus. I want us to declare that we come into his presence one more time by the by the reason of the finished work of Calvary. And we declare Lord, that the blood of Jesus will speak and answer for us in the name of Jesus. Every sin in our lives that will not allow us, that will not allow God to hear us this evening, this moment, Father, we plead the blood of the Lamb. We appropriate the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We declare that blood will speak and answer for us now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declared. One more time, I want us to lift up our hearts and our hands unto God and begin to declare that the heavens above us is open. The heavens above us is open. The heavens of this of this prayer platform is opened in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So this night, I will continue where Apostle Victor stops, and I want us to, one more time, intercede for the nation of Ukraine and the nation of, of Russia. Hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to read one or two scriptures and we're going to pray based on those scriptures the book of isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 i'm reading message bible message bible it says in message bible it says he settled things fairly between nations he settled things fairly between nations praise the lord he settled things fairly between nations he will make things right between many people they will turn their swords into shovels, their spears into holes. No more will nation fight nation. They won't play war anymore. I'm reading the book of Isaiah chapter two, verse four, message version. I read it again. It says, it will settle things fairly between nations. It will make things right between many peoples. They will turn their swords into shovels, their spears into holes. No more will nation fight nation. They won't play war anymore. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. And we're going to appropriate this war, this word of God onto the two nations, the nation of Ukraine and the nation of Russia. But before we go on, we are, I want us to plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon those nations, I want us to declare that the blood will speak more, especially for the nation of Ukraine right now. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over the nation of Ukraine. We plead that the blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel, the blood that was shed, 
on the cross of Calvary for, for, for humanity, for mankind. Let that blood of Jesus, it is a costly blood. It is a costly sacrifice. Jesus took our place in, in death so that no one will die. He took our place in, in, in suffering, in pain, so that we will not go through it again. What Jesus had already paid for on the cross of Calvary should no longer be seen over nations. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus over the length and breadth of Ukraine, over the nation of Ukraine. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak over the nation of Ukraine. Let your blood speak over the nation of Ukraine. Let the blood of Jesus speak over the nation of Ukraine. Let the blood of the Lamb speak over the nation of Ukraine, over the cities, over the borders. Let the blood of Jesus speak over all the inhabitants of the nation of Ukraine. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak. Let the blood speak over that nation, over the inhabitants of Ukraine. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak in the name of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of the Lamb, the blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel, the blood of Jesus. Let that blood speak. Let that blood speak. Let it speak divine settlement over the nation of Ukraine and Russia. Let the blood of Jesus speak divine settlement. The Bible says, according to that Isaiah chapter two, verse four, it says he will settle things fairly between nations. Yes, let God settle things fairly between the nation of Ukraine and Russia. Let the blood of Jesus speak divine settlement, divine settlement over the nation of Ukraine and Russia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the blood speak. Let the blood of Jesus speak. Let the blood of Jesus speak into the nations of Ukraine and Russia. Let that blood speak divine settlement that things will be settled fairly between these two nations. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wow. We're still praying based on that scripture in Isaiah chapter two, verse four. It says it will settle things fairly between nations. It will make things right between many people. That means God himself will, 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 will take over. There will be divine intervention over the nation of Ukraine and the nation of Russia. We're going to pray unto God. He has declared it in his word. He said he will settle things fairly between nations. We're going to lift up the nation of Ukraine and Russia unto the Lord. The Lord in your mercy, Lord in your power, let there be your divine intervention. Let there be divine intervention over the nation of Ukraine right now, over the nation of Ukraine. Let there be divine intervention. Let there be divine settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make things right between these two nations. Make things right between these two nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we call, O oh Lord, for your mercy. Mercy for divine intervention. Mercy for divine settlement. What needs to be, whatever needs, whatever they need to do in order for peace to reign in Ukraine. Father, we call it forth. We call it forth right now upon this, upon this platform. We call it forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the God of peace. You are the God of peace. You are the Prince of peace. We ask, so Lord, that the peace will reign. Your peace will reign in the nation of Ukraine right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We call upon the power of the Prince of peace. We call upon the power of the Prince of peace. Let your peace rule and reign in the nation of Ukraine. Father, undertake for the nation of Ukraine. All powers belong to you. 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 You are the all powerful God. You reign and rule over all nations. Father, undertake for the nation of Ukraine right now. Undertake for the nation of Ukraine right now by your power. Undertake for the nation of Ukraine. Lord, we call forth divine settlement. We ask for divine intervention by your mercy. Remember the blood, your blood that you shed on the cross of Calvary. That blood will not be in vain. Oh Lord, we cry today unto you upon this platform that you show forth your mercy 
over the nation of Ukraine. Show forth your mercy. Show forth your mercy. Let your mercy bring divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your mercy bring divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for wisdom. We pray for peace to prevail in the nation of Ukraine in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we lift up the, 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 the leader of Russia, the, 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 the prime minister of Russia, Putin, we lift him up into, unto you right now. Oh Lord, we ask, so oh Lord, that the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be conviction, oh Lord. Let there be conviction in the mighty name of Jesus so that he will be, he, he, his ways will be according to God's will. Let there be personal conviction in the name of Jesus Christ. It seems that what is happening right now, it is beyond the power of any nation. No nation can intervene right now, but we know there is a God who created all things, including Putin, including the Prime Minister of Russia. We are going to ask that the power of the Holy Spirit will speak to him in the name of Jesus. The Bible said the heart of, the heart, the heart of a king is in the hand of God. We call forth the power of God right now to touch his heart, to touch his heart to touch his heart, that God will turn his heart of stone to heart of flesh right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God of heaven and earth, you are God and there is no one like you. You are the all-powerful God. You created all things. You created all human beings, including the current prime minister in Russia. Father, there is no man that is power, too powerful for you to control. There is no man that is too powerful for you to control. Father, we ask, oh Lord, the Bible said the art of a king is in the is in the hand of God. You turn it into wherever you want. Father, in your mercy and in your power, touch the heart of Putin. Touch the heart of Putin. How can one man put a whole nation in destruction? Father, you are a great God. You are a great God. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing that is outside of your reach. We ask, so oh Lord, that you will touch the heart of Putin right now. Grant him wisdom in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit convince him of, 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 of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch his heart. Touch his heart. Touch his heart. Touch his heart, touch his heart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Touch the heart of this leader in Russia. Father, you can do it. You have done it before. You can do it again. Father, for you to settle things fairly between these two nations, you need to touch the heart of these two leaders. Father, Lord, Lord, touch his heart. The Bible said the heart of king is in the hand of God, and he turned it to wherever he wants to. Father, touch his heart, oh Lord. Turn his heart of stone to heart of flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have said in your word, you said you will settle things fairly between nations. You will make things right between many people. Father, make things right in the nation of Ukraine. Make things right in the nation of Russia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, put touch the heart of this man. Touch the heart of this man so that violence and destruction will come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, settle things fairly. Settle things fairly between the nation of Ukraine and Russia. In the name of the Lord Jesus, O oh, thou Prince of Peace, establish peace in the nation of Ukraine. God, you are the Prince of Peace. Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Oh Lord, we cry unto you. Establish peace, peace in the name of Jesus, in the nation of Ukraine, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring an end to devastation. Bring an end to destruction in the nation of Ukraine, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call forth for divine settlement. We call forth for divine settlement. Lord, let there be divine settlement. Settle things fairly. Settle things correct, correctly between these two nations in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4, message Bible. I read again. He said he will settle things fairly between nations. He will make things right between many people. They will turn their swords into shovels. Their swords will be turned onto shovels. 
hallelujah, that we pray for in the nation of Ukraine right now, that every sword that is being, that is being sent forth as an attack upon the nation of Ukraine, God will turn it to shovels. It will be important. It will not work in the name of Jesus Christ. He says he turned their spears into holes. God will turn every spear, every spear fashioned against the nation of Ukraine. God will turn it into holes in the name of Jesus. The Bible says no more will nation fight nation. They won't play war anymore. They will not play war anymore. No more will nation fight nation. They will not play war anymore. This is what the word of the Lord says in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4, message Bible. Father, we stand upon the strength of your word. And we declare, let this word speak over the nation of Ukraine, over the nation of Ukraine, over the nation of Ukraine. Let this word speak. Let this word come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this word come to pass. Let it come to pass. Let there be no war in the name of Jesus. Bible said, no more will nation fight nation. Lord, let it be, O Lord. We speak, we declare this word over the nation of Ukraine and Russia that no more will they fight each other. No more will Russia fight Ukraine in the name of Jesus. The Bible said they would not play war anymore. Ah, Lord, let it be. Let it be in the name of Jesus. Let violence come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Still in the book of, uh, another scripture from the book of Isaiah chapter 60. It says, violence shall no more be had in your land, nor devastation or destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates shall be called praise. I want us to declare this upon the land of Ukraine, that no longer will violence be had in the nation of Ukraine. No longer be violence be had in the land of the Ukraine. No more devastation or destruction within the borders. Let's declare God can make it happen. God can make it happen. He said it in his word and he has what it, he has the capacity to bring it to pass. Father, we stand upon the strength of your word and we declare your word into the nation of Ukraine. The violence will no more be had in the land of Ukraine. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no devastation, no destruction within the borders of Ukraine. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the land of Ukraine. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the borders of Ukraine. We declare that the wall, the wall of fire will surround that nation in the name of Jesus Christ. The wall of fire will surround that nation in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible speaking in the book, in the book of, in, in, in the book of, I think in the book of Jeremiah, it says Jerusalem was a city without a wall, but God said it will become a wall. Zechariah, I mean, Zechariah chapter two, God said it will be a wall of fire around Jerusalem and it will be in the midst as a cloud of glory. Father, we call, we declare your word. What you say to one, you say to all. We speak this word into the nation of Ukraine. The law be a wall of fire, be a wall of fire. Build an edge of fire around the nation of Ukraine. Let the land of Ukraine be impenetrable for the enemies from Russia. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, build an edge of fire around the borders of Ukraine. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let destruction, let wastage, let devastation, let violence, let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible speaking, going back to the book of Isaiah chapter 60, it says, violence shall no more be had in your land, nor devastation or destruction within your borders, but you shall call your walls salvation and your gates will be called praise. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates will be called praise. We declare this over the nation of Ukraine, that the land of Ukraine, the walls surrounding Ukraine shall be called salvation. That means God will save the souls of men and women in that nation of Ukraine in the name of Jesus. And the gates will be called praise. The gates will be called praise. For God will turn things around for peace in the name of Jesus. O thou prince of peace, 
O thou Prince of Peace, establish your peace in the nation of Ukraine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have declared over the nation of Ukraine, bring an end to war. Let war cease. Let war cease. Let war cease. Psalm 46 verse 10. Psalm 46 verse 10. Lord, bring an end to every war in the nation of Ukraine. Bring an end to every war between Ukraine and, and Russia. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let war cease. Let war cease. Let war cease. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, you can do it. You can do it. We cry, O oh Lord, this night. We cry, O oh Lord, this hour that you will bring an end to every war. In the mighty name of Jesus, let war cease. Let war cease. In the name of Jesus, let war cease. Let war cease. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Psalm 46, verse 10. Psalm 46, verse 10. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 46, verse 10. Hallelujah. Psalm 46, verse 10. It says, He breaks, he be still and know and recognize. Okay. Psalm 46, verse 9. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow into pieces and snaps the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the heart. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, our refuge, and our high tower. We're going to pray unto God one more time. There is no amount of prayers that is too much for the nation of Ukraine right now. We're going to pray unto God. Let war come to an end. Let war cease. Let war cease in the name of Jesus. Break every bow into pieces. In the name of Jesus, burn every chariot with fire. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let war cease in the nation of Ukraine. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, it is not impossible for you to bring an end to war as we are speaking right now. Let war cease. Let there be divine settlement. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we want to pray for those that have lost their loved ones in this, in this, in this present predicament. Father, we ask, oh Lord, that you comfort the nation of Ukraine. You comfort them in the mighty name of Jesus. There have been a lot of losses. Oh Lord, you are the only one that can comfort. By the power of the Holy Spirit, comfort the people of Ukraine in the name of Jesus Christ. And let there be divine settlement for them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I believe God has heard our prayers and there will be quick manifestation in the nation of Ukraine and between the two leaders, in the Russian leader and Ukraine leader, in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Prince of Peace, we establish peace over the nation of Ukraine and Russia in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.